Today is pretty exciting though, because Chloe is getting her first bath. Are you ready? What a day it's been, Chloe. What a day. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Mike vlog. Today, I'm gonna be giving Chloe a bath, but you know, one thing I wanted to mention that I've been trying to further my knowledge. You know, a lot of the people that I look up to, I've asked, why are you, how are you so successful? And you know, the majority of them, they either wake up at 4.30 a.m., which I've been trying to do, or they're on, they're reading. Knowledge is power. It's always been extremely hard for me to physically read, you know, go in one ear, out the other, but for me to be able to listen to something, and I'm more of a visual learner, I absorb stuff more. And not a boring lecture, just things that I'm interested in. So I'm happy to announce that I'm actually working with Audible, and I use Audible on the day-to-day -day basis, like, bro, I'm always using Audible. So they actually reached out to me, and they will be giving you guys a free audiobook if you sign up for 30 days. All you gotta do is type in audible.com slash sneaker life, or you can and text the sneaker life to 500 500 i'm trying to give you the key to success you definitely need to read rich dad poor dad that is my favorite book i've listened to it so many times you know the biggest thing for me is moving to la i'm doing a lot of soul searching and i just want to be financially right so that book just taught me so much and i tell all my homies everyone like yo get on Chloe, you are bugging right now. You see what I'm trying to do? Why are you biting? You need to take a chill pill. But that's my favorite book so far. I've also been reading a lot of books involving keto, which I know you guys are also interested in. What Audible offers, they call Audible Original. Basically what that is, is everything is broken down into audio format. You know, it's only exclusive to Audible. You're not gonna find them anywhere else. They have a little bit of everything for everyone. So if you're like me, I definitely recommend trying it out. Again, like I said, you can get the first audiobook free if you sign up for 30 days. You can go to audible.com slash a sneaker life or you can text a sneaker life to 500 500. If you do decide to do that, make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what book you decided to go with or if you went with Rich Dad Poor Dad. I'm telling you, phenomenal book. I wish I would have read it back when I was like 18, 19 when people were telling me. But you know, better late than never. It's been a minute since I vlogged. Got the young Chloe in the cut. What's up, girl? You know, a lot has happened in the last few weeks and you know, I just kind of needed to step away. I'm not really too big on vlogging anymore like I used to. I don't like putting my personal life out there as much. Honestly, I had to take a step back and just, you know, decide what I want to do. No, YouTube isn't dying. Yes, YouTube is trying to screw everyone, but it's kind of like out of your control. So shout out to all y'all that support, but I'm not really worried about YouTube at all. So I know for the most part, a lot of the viewers that are watching this video are probably not subscribed to the channel. You're probably just watching because I got a cute little puppy. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But for those of you that do watch me and you know, you kind of want to know more inside my life and what I do, right now I'm just working, man. And you know, the majority of my time is spent right over in this little area that I have. You know, obviously the sneakers in the back, all the whiteboard that I explained to you, just tripods, mics, all that, but I'm working on my St. Michael stuff. This is my brand. I always like to provide value for you guys, always. So the most important thing is not to put all your eggs in one basket. I don't only do YouTube. Now, YouTube is obviously my main job and that's super fire and dope that I can do that. But in order to get where I want, I gotta be good at multiple things. You know, in 2018, even 2019 coming up, you shouldn't just be good at one thing. You should be good at multiple things. You should have multiple passions. There's no reason to restrict yourself. You know, in basketball, they always taught you triple threat. If you don't know anything about basketball, triple threat, you know, don't worry about it. I'll explain triple threat in life is just being good at multiple things. Be a triple threat. Maybe you are a lawyer. Maybe you are an accountant. Maybe you are a graphic designer. All three of those combined, wow, like, damn. So it's kind of like that. I'm trying to get my graphic design up. Obviously, I can edit and shoot photos. I also design websites. I own a clothing brand. I own a sneaker, an online sneaker boutique. You know, I have multiple things. And hopefully that gets me where I want to get. Now, I still got a lot of debt that I need to pay off. But we working on it, huh? We working on it, girl. Ow! That hurt. Who you biting? Who you biting, girl? And Chloe's going to be a superstar, too. I'm going to run her business. She's so damn cute. She got an Instagram now. It's Chloe the Schnauzer. Chloe the Schnauzer. Lil Clo Clo. So we'll see where that gets. Lil Clo Clo. Now this weekend I actually have one of the Halloween drops. 
It's gonna be on Sunday, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is the In the Night hoodie, as you guys can see. St. Michael, just kind of a vibe. So I'm excited for this. It is gonna be a long sleeve. Just posted the photos on Instagram, so if you guys wanna go check that out, that'll also be down below. And for those of you guys that are into shoes, the Concord 11th 2018 version, people on a sneaker life are just hella mad that I have them. Why do you have those already? Fake! You know, this is what they look like, bro. Fire. Phones are going off. I still gotta get back to work, but I just wanted to show you guys. I'm still in the sneakers. Don't ever forget that. Today is pretty exciting though, cause Chloe is getting her first bath. Are you wetty? Are you wetty? Or nah? Oh yeah, she's ready, she's ready. So let's get it. You ready for this? It'll be nice and easy. Chloe, you always think it's funny to bite me, so <clears throat> How about if I bite you? Do you like that? I didn't think so, Gareth. Uh, All right, young Clo, let's get this bath in. Oh, I should probably get you your treats. Look what we got. Look what we got. You okay? Look, good girl. We got all kinds of treats. Come on, come on. Here you go. Look, look, look. Good girl. It's okay. Making sure the water is nice and warm. Well, not too hot, but you know, warm. We're okay. Here. Oh my God, what am I doing? A little too much. Good job. You're doing so good. It's okay, you're doing so good. You're doing so good. Oh yeah. Good job. Good job. Look at that, that wasn't so bad now was it? All right, come on, let's get you warm. Let's get you warm. Little girly. Cold. Let's warm you up. Ooh, that was tough, huh? First bath, huh? Oh, she's freezing. Look at you, Chloe. You did such a good job. Now, most of you Schnauzer owners, you know, she's getting a little, well, a lot. Her eyes starting to turn red. I don't usually, you're not supposed to wash your dog's face, but I usually just, you know, wipe it with a doggy wipe. Does that make you mad? She's cold, but I usually do it pretty aggressive. I'm just messing. Take care of my dog. Don't get mad in the comments. This is my girl. See, she's shivering, but she did so good. Look at you. Oh, I know you see that. That's such a good girl. That's such a good girl. You want to get up? What you got to get up? Dun, dun, get down on it. Come on and get down on it. How you gonna do it if you really don't wanna dance? By standing on the wall, get your back up off the. I heard all my people saying, get down on it. Oh, we gotta warm you up. Get down on it. We gotta warm you up. Oh, it's cold. It's freezing. But yeah, I usually wipe her little face. Woof! I know. I know you cold, girl. You cold, Chloe. Hey, where you going? We're almost, you're almost dry. You're almost dry. Freedom. Freedom. You're almost dry. Huh. Well, she still loved me. I think over the last few weeks, or maybe it's even been a month. How long has it been? I think it's been a month. You know, we really bonded. Big guy with a little dog. It's funny because everybody's like, yo, Mike, why did you buy a mini schnauzer? Like, bro, the reason I picked a mini schnauzer is because I just love the way they look. I really wanted a girl dog. You know, I already have three other dogs. And they're all boys. I have an Australian Shepherd, his name is Leo. I have a Mawa, his name is X. And I have a Britney Spaniel and his name is Tech. So I just wanted a girl dog. I think they're more submissive, they're smarter. And they don't pee on everything. Her, you know, us being in this apartment, so many schnauzers are very adaptable to that. She's a smaller dog. She's super, super smart, it's crazy. She doesn't go around peeing on the couch or on my shoes. She's still kind of chewing a little bit. We slowly are learning to understand each other a lot more. She knows her name, she knows come here, she knows sit. So she's learning, she's only three months old, still hasn't been able to go outside yet. But yeah, that's pretty much all the information on her for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed her first little bath time. If I should do more videos with Chloe, hit that thumbs up, lets me know. But what kind of dog do you have at home? Let me know down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy, Mike. I'll catch you in the next one.